Hey there everyone, this is Cloud Chief, and in today's video I want to take a few minutes and talk to you about the Proto Waypoints. Proto Waypoints are great as it allows you to quickly get around Vanadil. To start you want to go to Rulu Gardens and talk to the NPC that was on the previous screen. After that you'll need to travel around to like Mara, Selbina, and a few other places that you'll see here and talk to the NPCs near the Proto Waypoints. After you're done talking to all these NPCs, you'll gain access to be able to use these proto waypoints once you unlock spots to teleport to. After you've gone around all these places, go back to Juno and talk to the original NPC again. At this point, he will have you to start going around and getting different uh, geo points then they will allow you to warp to those points after you've gotten them. Just to note, these are one-way teleports. So once you warp there, you can't use them to warp back. So then, at this point, you pretty much just want to follow the paths that I have uh, set up here. And I'll be showing you maps, exactly how to try and get to most of them, or at least you can follow where I'm running to go get these points. Once you click the point, you now have the point, and from any of those proto waypoints, you can go ahead and warp to any of those points that you've gotten. It does cost uh, some, they call it kinetic units to teleport, and you get kinetic units by trading crystals and clusters to the proto waypoints. You can hold a maximum of uh, 50,000 kinetic units. And depending on where you want to teleport, it'll vary anywhere from about 30 units up to about 300 units. And that's pretty much it. However, there are a lot of field points, and you need to go through and get all the field points first. And I am going over and covering them first. After that, you do need to go back to the NPC in Juno again and then he will actually flag the next quest where you can start getting these points that are in dungeons. And that's pretty much all you need to do. These are extremely useful to have along with having the home point crystals and the book warps. It just allows you to quickly access and get around Vanadil. As for this one, you want to be very careful and take it slow when you're walking along the spine. I probably fell off three or four times uh, just because it gets very slippery at points. Some of these proto waypoints are pretty easy to get, while other ones you will have to go through a dungeon and then you'll go back out to a field for the early field ones. It's highly recommended that you either come on White Mage, so that way you can teleport to a lot of these places, or have a White Mage friend go ahead and teleport you around, as that will save time trying to pick up all these uh, different you know, points so that way you can teleport to. Also, making sure that you have your own personal mount is definitely recommended uh, because you're not always going to be able to, you know, get a chocobo easily depending on if you're teleporting to certain points. As for this one in Eugolith Range, you need to trek all the way around and to note that the waterfall up at the top will be frozen if there is any type of ice weather. However, there is a home point crystal right by the warp point. So if you know someone who has it, you can go ahead and die right outside the waterfall and be tractored and raised in so that way you don't have to wait for the weather effects to go down to be able to get this point. As for Ottawa Chasm, you want to make sure that you were starting at K9. There is a similar looking path at J9, but that doesn't actually allow you to get up the zone. There will be some mist there and it will always be blocked. So make sure you're starting at the right spot. I do have a video that shows you how to get up the area. Uh, for this one, this is actually starting the dungeon ones. and 
there is a quest that you can do for the weighted doors so that way you can open them solo. I have a, another video on my channel that shows you how to do that quest so you can open them solo. After that, you could just need to go through the two weighted doors here and you will see the, the geo fount up against the wall on the right hand side once you get through the second set of doors. Just again, make sure you're following the path and map as I'm showing, and it should be pretty easy to find this and all the other ones that we're going over. As for the rest of these, they are pretty easy as they're pretty early on in the Beastman dungeons. And they're definitely useful to have, just being able to quickly warp inside the Beastman dungeon. If you need it to do a quest or something in there, it's just really nice since there's no real home point crystals or other ways to really get to these points. There are the books that warp you to the start, but these typically warp you closer to uh, where you would be to try and get through the zone. As for this one in Sea Serpent Grotto, you do need a uh, Mithril Beast coin to go ahead and open the door, so make sure you pick one up for when you're going to do that. Uh, for this one in the Boyana tree, it's just on the first open map, so it's pretty easy. Uh, as for this one in uh, the ravine site, it's pretty far off to the southwest of the map. As you can see, it's all the way at C10, and you do need two displacements. And as for this one, as soon as you zone into Castle Vassal Keep, it is right there in the first room. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some value out of it. And may you have success in all you do.